Greetings, Brian Tarion here. <clears throat> Yesterday I passed my uh, test for the state health insurance exam on the first try. And for anybody that knows me, academics and testing is not my strong suit. So for anybody embarking on the process, I'm in hopes that these four tips that I'm going to share with you um, will help you get through the process um, quicker, faster, better, with less stress. Um, so first of all, when you look at taking one of these tests and you go out and poke around the internet, you'll find different opinions on how much time you need to invest to prepare. Like this YouTube video right here, um, it's literally hours, I think it's 25 to 30 hours. And there's others that, that are like that. And that may be be the case for some people that maybe are working in the industry. <clears throat> I feel that certainly helps and this is really the life that they live is in and around insurance. And also for people that have the ability to study for intensive periods of time that are not may not work in a full-time job or have other commitments and they can study four or five hours a day. I also I feel that that will um, allow you to get through the process um, faster than somebody like me that uh, was able to devote an hour, hour and a half a day um, to studying. So be realistic <clears throat> and you can kind of find out how your studying is paying off by going through the process that I'm going to share with you. Um, as far as studying, everybody, not everybody, but people have different plans. For me, I started really small. I even when I first started, it was like 20 minutes a day doing flashcards just to kind of get in the groove um, to start the habit of studying because I really wasn't looking forward to it. And then I increased it. Once I got comfortable, I got a little bit more confident. I got it up to an hour a day. And for me, I uh, prioritized this by doing my study at the time of day when I was the most effective, which for me was first thing. So I do it before I did anything else, especially as I got closer to the test. So those are some things to consider that work for me. The next thing is, um, is what to study. And there's some really some excellent testing tools out there. I've taken other standardized tests uh, for the industry, but nothing as well organized as this exam FX course I'm going to bring you into and you can subscribe to it on a monthly basis it's short money um, but it really was an excellent uh, tool to prepare for so what you're looking at is the menu here and the different study tools and there's an abundance of information but I'm going to just give you the kind of the, the, the big picture here. Um, they suggest that you set up, set up a study calendar, which I did, but I didn't use this in here. I set it up in my own personal uh, time planner so that I had a specific time during the day that I was going to study. And I kind of mapped that out based on how many hours I felt that uh, I needed to invest in this. So when you look at it and you come in here you want to study by topic for the health exam there are 10 different topics whoops they ended up oh, okay here they are so if you look at them these all correlate or break down into 10 different topics there's key facts and there's a glossary at the end and when you go into each one of these they're laid out in chapters and you have the ability to just obviously go through right here and read through some key points are supported by videos uh, which is really helpful and you can print this off like the key chapters I printed off because um, I you know, spent a lot of time on the computer and I just wanted a different way to, to absorb the information so I followed the direction that was in the original study plan, uh, which I'm going to go back to. Um, if you go to on-demand lectures <clears throat> in this introduction, right here, what is study advised steps. in this video is what I'm going through with you, is to go through the chapters. Um, 
at least a couple of times so that you're comfortable with the information. So I, I set up a plan on, uh, there's 10 chapters, I want to go through each chapter twice. So I was doing two chapters a week uh, going through, and some of them are longer. Um, so when I would go through the chapters, I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time, so let me get focused here and I'll get back to you. So back to study by topic. So for example, this one, I would read through it twice. And then once I read through it twice, I would take, um, you know, I'd start doing some practice questions just to get an idea on how I was doing. And these are really legitimate inline questions with the quality of the material. Then once I felt I was doing okay with that and I went through it a couple times, I would actually take the practice quiz which is a quiz on this chapter. Each chapter has 15 questions that you can go through and take. And so your target, according to the videos, you really want to be testing on these independent um, quizzes. You want to be doing around 80, or want getting around an 80, 8 out of 10 right. Um, because on the test, you need to score a 70 or higher. Um, and I don't know if that's in all states, but that's what it was in Vermont. So if you're doing around 80, then that's, you know, that's key. So again, come in, get your plan together, get the hours down that you're going to study. Um, watch the, uh, the original introduction. Um, <clears throat> I need to go back to main menu for that. So uh, go into on-demand lectures and watch the video there and then just start studying now also to support the text studying there's other really cool tools in here there is um, the let me see where is it here there's an audio library study by topic oh on-demand videos and lectures so there's short little audio clips and videos on different topics that's really super helpful um, and once you've been through all of the the ten different chapters then you can simulate your exam and the structure here is once you go through and do that you want to simulate your exam on four different occasions that's when you can kind of get a gauge for how you're doing and if you're testing in like the high 70 low 80s then you know that you're in striking distance I went through as recommended and I took my simulated exam four times um, and I uh, you know I got a 70 on the first one then I was a little distracted on the second one I think I got a 66 and I ended up testing in the high 70s uh, on my last one and then I really nailed uh, like the last five days of concentrated uh, studying and I did a guaranteed ex exam which is the last final exam you want to do before you take your your real exam okay so it's a lot of information but it's all supported by uh, the, the structure that is in um, the uh, the um, on-demand videos that I showed you okay so a few other things I want to share with you that I found uh, that were really helpful let's go back over here um, okay, so we talked about exam effects, follow the directions in the course, quiz, test, etc. Is <clears throat> to uh, print off your state exam outline. And this is Prometric.com, and the testing is done through this organization in Vermont. It's authorized, I think they do it in all states, um, which the state insurance agencies hire this organization to do their official testing with them. So when you look at doing that, or printing it off, what that will help you with is, um, pardon the barking that's going to end here in a moment, is it will show you the topics that are being tested, like this is insurance regulation, which is one of the topics that is covered in exam FX. So if you look at study by topic, and you pick one insurance regulation is right there so so what these folks have done at exam FX is they basically just zeroed in on the outline of what's going to be tested from the state so if you look at this this shows you that five percent of your of the test is questions on insurance regulations and 
so you can go through here and you can see what you're going to be tested on which will help you prepare because not all of the chapters are weighted the same um, so let me show let me see here if I can find ones different on on here okay so here's one um, this chapter 11 percent of the test questions are going to be here so print that off look at it I didn't find any surprises on it because the um, what was it, what was in exam FX was in, in line with what was here so this is what I did when I started to get to the last phase of testing is I prioritized the chapters in order of how many questions were going to be in each area so for example medical plans there was 18 percent of the test was going to be on this it was the highest amount so that's where I really zeroed in my time and that was my final um, uh, quiz chapter quiz test that I did on it so I want to make sure that I was really going to uh, to do that uh, well and then um, on insurance for senior citizens 13 percent so I made sure I tested well there um, insurance basics 11 percent and so it just went down and some of these are only worth five percent so I mean you want to certainly make sure that you get through those but if you're gonna master those and you're gonna tank on the chapters that are 18 percent of the questions then you know it's it's not going to be an effective test strategy one other thing I did when I was testing that helped me out is let's see if I can scroll down here and find it oops I might have to go to another page is is once you're done a chapter quiz you can um, you can you get the answers uh, that you got uh, that were wrong and it will show you the areas that you're doing good in and it will show you the areas that you're doing uh, that you're doing bad in so I'll slide this screen over and give you an idea so I created a Google Doc and I kept all my notes in it and so when I went through and I did my chapter quiz this was disability income related I got a 60 a 50 a 70 and a 70 at the end but um, on on my fourth um, test exam and I would go down and I would take down the questions that I'm getting wrong it's all copy and paste from when you're done the exam so I could look at it and like presumptive disability I misunderstood that so I kept getting it wrong see I got it wrong on the first and the second I got it wrong on the third I got it right on the final uh, so if you can look at that and you say okay well these are my weak spots and then you can focus in on that so after you do your test they'll give you the questions that you got wrong and they'll sh and exam FX will show you which questions you got wrong what your answer was what their answer was so that you can kind of um, accumulate all of this information uh, for you so it really helps uh, in the process all right so let me see what else we have here oh um, so once you've gone through and you've done your final exam um, I suggest that you go out and study some tips on how to take standardized tests like I have one here uh, if you look at the bottom of my screen I just typed in uh, YouTube um, I think I typed in standardized test tips for health insurance but if you also put in insurance licensing exam tips from Kaplan financial education or if you can if you're watching this and there's a website associated with this I'll put the direct link in here but what I used and I found really helpful was these two ladies right here and they gave some really solid tips on you know how to prepare some of the things that like not to really cram the day before um, and how to ease into it what to do the day of the test but what I found really helpful is they gave some key tips on how to look at and deal with each question uh, for example one of the tips was read each question three times and the answers 
three tons, even if you think you know it. Because what I found in testing is, I didn't do that, is I was uh, in practice testing. I was reading through once and I thought I read the question right and I didn't always do it and it's stuff I knew, but I just answered the question wrong, which is frustrating. So they really knocked out a lot of that and they taught you how to deal with questions that have at the end accept on it. So as you get closer to your final exam, uh, check this video out and prepare for it. So that's it. I mean, for me, I, if I added up all the hours, I probably it took me uh, studying an hour, hour and a half a day for three months, um, and that's five, six days a week. So, um, and I got more than enough to pass the test. So. Um, I expect that somewhere between doing this 30 hours and 100 hours, then you can pass your, your exam. That's my experience. So I hope this helps you get through your exam and you go out and you're able to help a lot of people make the right decisions on their health insurance. Thanks.